And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second semifinal match of the 2019 YugiTuber Grand Championship. In this match, we have Farfa, our reigning uh, second place winner from the 2018 Grand Championship, going up against Darren Stevenson. We have the battle for uh, the UK here, so this should be quite the match. And with us for commentary, we have once again the one and only Blade YGO. What's going on, guys? So I have no idea what both of these players are playing. Um, I did see that Farfa wanted me to preface this by saying that he felt he wasn't going to beat Darren. And so he has to play to his strengths. So he apparently tried to cheese Darren with whatever it is that he's playing. So I'm curious to see uh, what that is exactly. We see Darren starting off with Candina here, which would I would say allude to probably playing an Orcus build of some kind. Yeah, I'm going to assume this is Orcus as well. Especially because he moment? searched Korriban instead of Liquorice. Yeah. That just, like, solidifies that he's probably playing Orcus. <laughs> if he search Liquorice, that... then he'd actually be playing it, but... Uh, normal Candina, search Korriban, pass. Oh, man. Imagine. Oh, no, and but, he uh... drew the harp. That is so strong. Oh, man. This is why you need double hand traps, folks. I mean, this is... I mean, I was that's expecting a pretty heavy meta matchup here. I know our uh, first semifinal match was uh, very just, like like ridiculous like if you haven't checked that match out i definitely would because it's something you never would have expected to see especially in the semifinals of this type of tournament well maybe you would because this is, tournament's ridiculous but uh these both are com highly competitive players and uh they want to try to win so i expected nothing less from darren but i'm really curious to see what uh what farf is playing here it'd be kind of funny with that um that icon of uh farfa i don't know if this is the right person i'm thinking of but imagine he was playing Volcanics right now. Oh! <laughs> that would be, um, that would be funny. I don't know if that's the guy that played yeah, I Volcanics. I know, that's exactly, yeah, uh, I, his name is eluding me right now, but I've met him several times. He's one of the nicest people ever. And, uh, yeah. shout out to, if you're watching this, shout outs to you. I, I, his name, it's bothering me that I can't remember. I think it's, like, Sorab something. I, I'm I not think. even gonna, yeah, it's, yeah, it's I don't wanna butcher yeah, it's it. something that you wouldn't expect, but... Anyway, Darren's just been going through the standard Orcus combo. Because he discarded Harp, he actually doesn't have to send Harp with the Nightmare, so he gets to send Wand as an extender. I'm not sure if he did or not. Um, oh, no, he hasn't even used Nightmare. He's just leaving it in the graveyard. Oh, here we go. Now he's probably going to send the Wand. All right, and so the real question is, is he sending the Field Spell or the Counter Trap? I, we'll have to find out. So we do see that he's going to Wand back the Harp Horror. He's going to set the Trap. And I was going to go ahead and make Time Thief Redoer, which is uh, something that the OCG does not have access to because it is a TCG exclusive. And yeah, Redoer is like a big deal. Like yeah. that card's so good right now. Yeah, the amount of flexibility the card has, just being able to like Phoenix Wing Windblast cards, it draws you cards too. It looks like yeah. Darren's going to go for the Babel here instead of the Crescendo. We could have hard drawn it though. We don't know yet for sure. But yeah, we know um, that there's honestly... one Fog League for sure. Honestly, the thing is, Redoer even banishes itself so that way you can Dengirsu with the Bard. And I think that's pretty crazy. Whoa, wait, yeah. what? Yeah, Darren just stopped. That makes sense. No, no but like, I mean, like, what? where's the... Oh, oh, he just... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, because he searched the... He searched the uh... No, because he yeah, searched yeah, yeah. for Redoer. Yeah, so this is the standard okay. board. He's okay, got yeah, yeah, yeah. Three cards in hand as well, so um, we'll have to see. Oh, man. So, all right. Uh-oh. So Oh my uh -oh. god. Do we have oh. Mystic Mind Burn? <laughs> my god. Here we go. Oh man. So wow. Lilith is going to be off the top for Redoer's effect during the standby phase. You get to take the top card of your opponent's deck and put it under him as material, which again just makes the card so powerful. Imagine this isn't mine right now. I mean, it might not be. I mean, Lilith obviously is played in mine, but there's also, um, you played in, like, uh, what else? Uh, Infernoid plays it. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like if, if Farf is saying he's trying to cheese it, though, I kind of feel like he's playing Burn. <laughs> yeah, just maybe. Just maybe. Okay, so we see Card of Demise resolving for the full three cards here. He's going to set one. 
and he's gonna send trap trick and a second card of demise off the if first he card didn't set that. that demise i'm intrigued to see what that uh that set he has is yeah i'm curious about that as well i mean he must have i mean it could just he could have drawn two demise i mean that's possible yeah or it was I mean... like the metaverse it could have also been that but during the end phase yeah. we are going to see darren use galatea's effect since Babel is up it is a quick effect he's going to go ahead and shuffle back the nightmare to set crescendo and that's just really good because now it helps solidify his turn allows him to just um you know be able to play through stuff like mine which is really valuable and we now see this is a big deal yeah we're gonna see him use redoer's effect here because he set the babble this means now he has the climax for the metaverse which is or the crescendo for the metaverse which is really good and now he's clearing two spell uh two spells and traps right and the thing is now i mean that's just why orcus is so powerful because if you don't have any way to handle anything it can just do all this during the end phase and there goes ojama trio and demise of the land confirming that farfa is in fact playing mystic mind burn which we again pretty heavily assumed he was but yeah and he's using the effect of harp during the end phase as well to special summon that nightmare back out of the deck. Doing all those plays during Farfa's end phase, mind you. <laughs> so basically, Farfa needs to have like some, uh, just something here to like uh, two of the Mystic Mind in order to deal with the like just everything basically yeah he needs two ways because crescendo is going to uh force out one of the mines for sure and then if he can somehow find a way to like play through it ring of destruction okay oh that's interesting but then the problem becomes how does he again how does he deal with this and then there is like metaverse. Two metaverse and then there's crescendo okay okay i'm curious where this is going hmm so that last card needs if okay if he did not snipe the demise of the land oh man would darren be in trouble but he has trap oh. trick he has the trap trick all right so now the question is does darren have an out or is he conceding well that's that's the thing he if we have to see if he is um if he is main decking any sort of spell and trap removal like 20 oh, or anything like that he could, he could still be main decking it we don't know yeah, here we go, though. Mine's up. Okay, so Foolish Burial now. Now, Darren just needs to find a way to out this mine, and if he can, I mean, he'll be pretty set. So there goes Destrudo. I think Darren's just deck-thinning as much as possible here. I No, I think that's what you do. If you have the means to deck-thin at this point, it's pretty much the only option you have just to try to... <laughs> oh, and that's it! Darren's just gonna go ahead and scoop! So game one goes to Farfa wow that just oh, shows man, I... so darren did not have any way to out the mystic mine in his deck going into game one so that's going into... really huge oh man going into game two darren probably does have some form of a side deck for oh for the... sure like, he has yeah. at least three if not six ways to be able to handle this mine at least i would presume because otherwise i mean as you saw that literally just ended his entire turn or not even yeah. his entire turn it just lost him the game <laughs> Oh man, that's a that's one way to do it. What's, oh, what's interesting too is that both of these competitors have actually played a significant number of meta decks thus far, and mm -hmm. by doing so, whoever does get to the uh, finals against Lithium uh, will have to you know they're they don't have as many options because Lithium has not played a single tier one deck this entire tournament. True. So their options are much more limited compared to what Lithium has at his disposal. And that that's one of the things I love about this tournament is that, yeah, these guys got this far, but Lithium kind of has like a little bit of an advantage because he has the ability to pick out of a much wider selection of decks than maybe his opponent will. True. I mean, it just depends on if Lithium even wants to play meta. I don't know if he will. That's true. He might just want to just win the whole thing, just completely winning with the decks that he likes winning with. We'll just have to see yeah but darren going first in this game two here just again doing standard orcus plays nothing too crazy um just the standard combos you'd come to expect it's going to end on the bardich with the uh, galatea with probably two fog blades i don't think he discarded harp this time no so he is going to um well, i mean it depends on what else is in his hand as well but at the very minimum he will have the standard two fog blades plus the um bardich and dingirsu combo so there's the second fog blade yep oh man so the real question here is will will farfa be able to burn darren for game or will darren have an out 
Well, I mean, this game is a much different by comparison. And we see here that Darren actually is choosing to leave the symbol skeleton in the graveyard. So the, this either means Darren has like a twin or something or has the counter trap. So wave motion cannon from Farfa. That's a good start. That is. And there's Lilith. Okay. All right, let's see here. And Darren's going to go ahead and let that resolve. So we're going to see three cards here. We're gonna, Three copies of Metaverse. There it is. Now we know that... Um, oh, and he had the Mystic Mind in the hand as ooh, well. Oh, oh man. Darren does have outs in his deck, um, which is good for him. But this is still like kind of a, a weird position to be in. Absolutely. I mean, no one wants to be facing down Mystic Mind with such few outs to the card itself. Yeah, I mean, so Darren has eight turns to either have an out or draw an out. And there's the Twin Twister, which he had oh. in his hand, by the way. Well, uh, I guess he has an out. Okay, oh, so man. let's see if Farfa has the Dark Bribe or any other way to protect his Mystic Mine here. He can activate the Metaverse. Solemn Judgment. That is something That's an, That's do. an out. <laughs> or that's so, an answer. So what I'm seeing here is that basically Darren needs to have Oh, actually, no, like, Darren kind of loses. So the, the reason I say that is because he... Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say if he grabs Metaverse, Darren would have two Twin Twister, and there are two Metaverse that would be set. So no matter what, um, Darren, uh, Darren could not out the Mystic Mind because there's still two more copies. So Farfo with that end phase of Geometry, a one counter goes on to Wave Motion Cannon, seven turns left. And there's the pot of duality. So evenly matched another wave motion cannon. That's oh, going to wow. double the speed at which he's going to be able to take out Darren here. Now that's an even, that's huge. Yeah. Oh, man. We see the sphere mode from the side, coming out of the side deck for Farfa as well, which I think is, uh, I mean, against the Orcus boards, it's a little bit weird because they usually only end on like two monsters. They can end on three with Redoer. But, I think um, the other issue with uh, sphere mode is that it turns back to your... Uh, it gives, it comes back to you, basically. Oh, he drew the second twin! But he can activate Metaverse here is the issue. And there we go. But the problem is he had the, um, no, because the... Wait, what? Wait, oh, were you saying to chain Metaverse in response because in that way it would lose its target? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, that's interesting that he didn't go about doing that. Wait, why didn't he even... That actually is really weird. He didn't even activate the metaverse. Yeah, no, he just let it be destroyed. Unless there's something hmm. we're missing. But no, absolutely. That would have completely shifted things around. Yeah, I think uh, if he just grabbed the second metaverse, I think Darren just outright loses, right? <laughs> I think Farfa's realizing that that's the mistake he made, judging by the chat. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, man. Well. Yeah. So, Darren, I think, is probably going to clean this up now. I mean, he still yeah. has that one back row, but I don't really think it's going to matter all that much because it's probably just going to send it, and Darren is more than likely just going to be able to finish off Farfa here. Yeah, like, uh, even the Dingirsu... Oh, well, I mean, that's something, but I... Basically, um... Oh, yeah, no, he just I was going to say, it's now. something for him to die quicker is what it is, because now yeah. he can just attack with Rusty and it's game. <laughs> yeah, there's... Oh, man, wow, that's unfortunate. All right, so game two goes to Darren, so we're going to go into game three, but now Farfa does have the opportunity to go first here and get set up without having to deal with any of Darren's, uh, any of Darren's cards here, so we'll see. And yeah. Farfa is opting to go first. Okay, so we see a Pot of Extravagance, which is always a great start from this deck. Oh man, here we go. So drawing two cards. Let's see. Uh, his demise. God is Scold's Oracle. Oh my God. Have you seen this deck play this before? I have. That <laughs> card is so good in that deck. So what's interesting is God is Scold uh, doesn't prevent or it prevents you from like special summoning and everything, but you're not special summoning in this deck. So God is Scold is literally the perfect card to stall for uh, for Mystic Mine. Absolutely. And to prevent outs from hitting the top of the deck. Yeah, it's so, so crazy. You basically get to, for those who don't know, you essentially get to spiral gear drone the top of your opponent's deck every single turn. And exactly. um, by being able to do that, you're preventing your opponent from drawing into their outs like Twin Twist or anything like that. And you can ensure that they're never going to be the top card. So it puts your opponent in a very awkward position. I think it's such a cool tech to see in this deck. I remember I saw this. Yeah. I think it was in... 
was it like the San Jose regional? That won? It was the San Jose regional. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I would say I think that's the first time we've seen that card in this deck. Maybe the OCG played it as well, but I'm pretty sure the San Jose regional is the first time I saw it at least. Right. I think the big thing here is now that Darren either has to have hard drawn an ounce because if he commits to a normal summon right now, uh, it, a mine could come down and whatnot. So basically, oh, he doesn't activate metaverse though. Well. We don't know if uh, if Farfa has a metaverse. We haven't seen any. Right. But so like, he might be. I mean, I don't know why. You, maybe he wants to wait. Yeah. I'm not too I sure. Mean, maybe he has the the quick play spell. Set oh, there it and, is. Demise of uh, the well, Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that explains it then. So Darren basically had to have hard drawn an out to mine. If he d has not hard drawn an out, um, he oh oh wait candina is huge and light stage as well in this matchup it can be because every single time that uh farfa activates one of these spells or traps he will be taking 400 damage per one so he took 400 for the demise and then i believe he takes it for the mystic mine as hmm. it says it activates so, so and candina reads each time your opponent activates a spell so i mean i think it should have counted both but um, here's Trap Trick for the Metaverse, though. So, I mean... Okay. Yeah, Farfish so is kind now, of reinforcing his position here. Yeah, so now the issue for Darren here is that he can just Goddess uh, every single every single turn, basically. And so Darren has to have three Twin Twister on top of his deck <laughs> in order to, uh, to deal with that mind. But even then, he has the Metaverse... But the problem here is that Farfa needs to get to one of his win conditions because if he has no way to close the game out, it doesn't matter how long. Because funny thing is, Farfa's deck is actually currently thinner than Darren's. And Light Stage is also True. on the field, so he's going to be able to keep continuously sniping uh, these face-down cards. And especially knowing that, uh, oh, okay, so... He sniped the bribe. Sniped the bribe. And then I was going to hmm. say, I think Distrudo accidentally got sent to grave. I don't know if Darren thought he had seven cards, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, Darren can't count. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Dark okay. Vibe is now gone. So now that's really good for Darren because if he does have a Twin Twister, um, granted there is still another uh, Metaverse on the field, but I mean, it's just one less layer of protection that Farfa has. Yeah, this is uh, not looking good for Darren. I'm going to be honest. I was going to say, Farfa is definitely in the position, like the power position here, but he needs to close out the game essentially. Yeah, if if he if okay, the big way I see Farfa losing this is if he does not draw uh what's the card called? The the cannon, the wave motion cannon. Correct. If he doesn't draw the wave motion cannon uh before he hits seven cards in deck, um he Farfa loses the duel. We saw Darren sending the Orcus Nightmare to the grave as well from his hand because he had seven cards in hand. And uh, that's yeah. just good because if Darren does eventually get away to get rid of um, that Mystic Mine, he's going to be set up not only with just his monsters on the board, but also having the combo fodder in the graveyard. Yeah, this is going to be... <laughs> this We're going to be, be here one. for a while. <laughs> so we see Metaverse being activated in the end phase, and he's going to add the copy of Mystic Mine to his hand. Yeah. And Darren's going to pitch a copy of Call by the Grave here. The funny thing is, Candina's slowly whittling away Farfa's life points here. There's the wave motion cannon. Okay, okay so now Darren is officially on the clock. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see uh, Let's see what happens, I guess. Farfa continuously re-sculpting the top of Darren's deck with the Goddess Skull's Oracle and just denying him from being able to uh, just get any powerful cards. Oh, man. So it's ironic that uh, Darren's the one burning Farfa, like Far Farfa stated. Oh, man. So Light Stage is going to be used on Farfa's last set card. And in the end phase, Ojama Trio is going to come down here. So that is going to give uh, five monsters on Darren's field. Darren's going to pitch to Strudo for the end of turn for hand size. And again, Farfa's slowly losing life points just from all these activations due to that Candina plus the Light Stage. 400 per activation. So pretty, uh, it's gonna, it adds up you know <laughs> it does honestly farfa just may not um oh well he said something here but 
Okay. He could just not set anything if he wanted to. Yeah, it's rough because the having that light stage just gives Darren the ability to keep Farfa from being able to set a lot of cards. So it actually puts him in a pretty advantageous position. But just the whole sequence of like we're seeing like Farfa reshape the top of the deck, then like sets a card and passes, then Darren like just freezes the light stage. Okay, Phoenix is coming down here though. I think Darren's just trying to get rid of the monsters on his field to consolidate more. Do the monsters do something in this case? Well, I believe, um, I think he's going to make Unicorn here. And, oh, Secret Barrel coming down oh. first. Okay, so Secret Barrel's going to take a little bit uh, out of Darren's life points. Oh, but, uh, yeah, uh, Darren's reminding him that it is under light stage, so he's not able to. But Unicorn is actually it's an effect oh. that does not activate. Unicorn oh, has an wow. ability that Darren can draw cards, which means that regardless of far from being able to scold the top or um scold the top of his deck, that Unicorn's going to be able to draw multiple cards per turn now. So if there is a situation where he gets multiple cards that can outmine on the top, then Unicorn could be the answer here. This is huge for Darren. Yeah, oh getting those Ojama tokens actually gave Darren the ability to do this. So. Wow. Yeah. So this is crazy because so yeah, all he asked did he uh summon Phoenix already? He summoned the Phoenix to make the unicorn, yes. So oh. he is only gonna have the Cerberus co link to the unicorn, but that's still multiple cards in a turn he is gonna get to draw off the unicorn effect. True. So alright, so there's So we... drawing two cards per turn, just have to emphasize per unicorn's effect, not just the one. Right. So now uh, Darren has four turns to draw into an out. He needs two Twin Twister out of the top three cards. Yeah, that's basically the situation that has to come up here. He needs to have multiple outs that he can draw that Farfa can't put, um, you know, because he can't put both of them on the bottom. He's going to draw two of the three cards now. Honestly, I'm surprised Darren didn't even just link with the Candina. I think just slowly whittling away at Farfa's life points kind of just makes him weary about activating things because, mm. granted, it's like wave motion will kill him faster. I don't know. I kind of like leaving the Candina here, actually. Yeah. If I he mean... had another monster to link off into besides the Phoenix, like say he's playing like Underclock or Space Insulator, and then got another monster to link into like Phoenix, okay, right. then that would be a reason to link off Candina, I feel like, just to draw all the cards off of Goddess Skull, but... Okay, another secret barrel. He's going to go ahead and use it here. So Darren's going to take a oh, very man. significant amount of damage. So That's many cards big. in hand, too. Look at that. This is literally Darren's final turn. This is. If Darren does not have a way to out the Mystic Mine, this will be it. Wave Motion Cannon will go up to four counters and deal 4,000 damage. Is this some form of uh, communication with the, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the handshaking here? Terraforming going to grab another light stage, which doesn't do anything here. He's gonna go for foolish dump an orcus nightmare is he just trying to like deck thin like i don't know oh, <laughs> this is the part where i reveal the twin twister from the whole start <laughs> <laughs> that would be um your final f oh man Darren's i think that's about everything. it everything is that it shade brigandine okay oh man i don't even know if redoer yeah, I think that's uh, that's about it, honestly. <laughs> I think that's going to do it. I don't know what else he could possibly do. He's linking off here for Boral, Boral Sword, Sword, which I don't even think... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, Cerberus is a two. Yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say for a second. <laughs> <laughs> and both players oh, just man. messing around now because Farfa has... Uh, won the match darren has conceded mystic mind burn and farfa once again making it to the finals of the yugi tuber grand championship guys thank you so much for watching the video you do not want to miss the finals One, two, three, four.